Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another uh, Start Pro Connect Edition tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to perform a P-Delta analysis. In Start Pro Connect Edition there is a uh, is a independent option that you can perform a P-Delta analysis as well as you can consider the P-Delta effect in pushover analysis, time history analysis and another sort of nonlinear analysis. So what's actually P-Delta? P-Delta is uh, sort of contribution uh, effects on the uh, internal force of the structure, especially in the end of the uh, elements. So let's, let's suppose we have a, a cantilever columns and we have a gravity load and horizontal load. So this cause a shear force of this one, a moment force here. Then this gravity load within the applying here will cause some other extra displacement in, in here, which is called uh, delta. So it's equal to uh, contributing to the bending moment which is called P delta. So we have uh, two P delta. Well, one is P delta, small P delta, and this is called P delta, which is equal to the uh, drift of the structure. In another uh, example, let's have a structure and the contribution displacement or shear moment is. Uh, quite a uh, difference in case of without uh, without uh, p delta effects now in the force relationship you can consider the uh, lo the stiffness and also you can see the, uh, the the maximum force or ultimate force and also you can see the displacement now the first line is with a dot is without a p delta and the second is uh, with P delta. So now you can understand uh, how much effect is here contributed to the structural response. Here is some uh, uh, more uh, information about this issue, and here you can also call a secondary effect. This P delta is we can call call a secondary effect. So it's as a stress stiffness for the member in tension or softening for completion. And one more thing that in the program we uh, will consider the geometric stiffness, which is called kg. In in case of uh, doing a p delta analysis, we will uh, the program will create a global geometric stiffness for the structure, uh, including the uh, global stiffness matrix. And we also. Uh, can uh, accept or can uh, consider the small p delta for the analysis as well. Uh, there is uh, some uh, parameter we will uh, discuss inside the uh, uh, start pro uh, in uh, start pro and a p delta also uh, recommended by uh, AACI 316 18 and AI AC LRFDs parts and also Indian code as well. And so as example we will uh, perform in start pro is uh, two bay five meters and three stories height each story is three meters. So we'll use a uh, section ten and eight for the beam column and we will apply a horizontal load and also a date load to the structure. And we will see the response of the structure with P delta effect. Now let me go to the uh, new uh, model, uh, new model called uh, P Delta and create. Uh, so it's uh, 2D elements for the sample stitches I can use wizard structure and This is uh, totally 10 meters, 10 meters, which has a two bay, and totally three stories, which has a nine meter. Each story is three, and this area is zero. And now we can see uh, three bays, two bays, and four story. Now we can go to the properties, and we want to uh, choose uh, sections from our database section W10, W8. And we can come to the W10 and W8 should be this one and W10 should be this one. So I'm going to first select 
uh, beams power and using to X and W tension for the beam and this one is for color <clears throat> now we go to the uh, material we want to use a uh, case 15 assigned to view so that means that uh, steel material yield and tensile strength is given to the structure and the second we want to create a support we assume it's a fixed support in the bottom of the structure and now you also do a rendering and see how it looks like in the last one we come to the loading and we want to define some load cases so I'm going to add a load case and I can call it date load date load and the second load is going to be uh, seismic load now uh, we also can create but before that let me define uh, the load so the first one is a self load of the structure and so you should remember that you you have to consider the self load of the structure in this analysis and the second one is going to us a member load is minus 10 kilonewtons in the global x and we comes to the uk and we add some noodle load noodle load and it's called 115 and 100 and finally 50 we which is a triangular now here i'm going to assign to view as a self load and now again i can select the beams and assigning this to the beam now i can uh, the last part i'm going to select the load uh, this uh, Earthquake load or lateral load to that node. I'm going to assign to this node. Assign. Assign to the selected node. And the second is going to the second floor. I'm going to assign to the second load, second floor. And the last one is in the first floor. And I also uh, want to create a load combination. Add, I can go to the auto load combination and using, you can use uh, any of this code because uh, both code is required a uh, P-Delta analysis as well. So I'm gonna create here and here is some combination code. Now uh, we go to the analysis and from the command and here it is P delta analysis called P delta. So in the first is called print option. You can consider all that mode shapes, uh, load data, uh, everything should be considering for the print option. And here is the iteration. So the iteration means uh, you can come to back to here, and here is called the convergence. Normally this process will convert after five to ten. Uh, if the member backlink load is not exceeded and we also uh, we also have that considering this another option as well so between 5 to 20 we can uh, uh, considering 10 number of iteration in that stiffness matrix and also this is called use geometric stiffness you can considering that the program will create a global stiffness matrix and also global geometric stiffness uh, which we already uh, putting here now uh, so in this analysis we are not considering but for uh, for the impact of this uh, command you can 
duplicate these examples and cons and reanalyze with this command as well. So, uh, as we discussed uh, in the earlier, in case you want to observe this this p delta small p delta effects, you also can check or uncheck. In in case of check, that program will do one iteration for the small p delta, and if you uncheck, so the program will ignore and just considering the big p delta. So in this analysis, we're considering the both now called p delta analysis, and we can run the analysis. Now it's quite fast and the analysis completed and we can go to the post processing. We can go to load case and showing a now uh, this is the combination that the, the displacement if I go to here the maximum displacement is this one which is quite large and you can uh, do the same uh, model and uh, using a linear analysis so in the linear analysis you will not considering the p delta then you can uh, create the uh, moments uh, the moments and shear force and displacement and check how the uh, p delta effect is observed here in early examples i did there was uh, between 5 to 10 percent differences so now you also can uh, do the same things, do the same things to observe the p delta effects. So after that, you can uh, come to here and you can see the uh, beam column uh, during the earthquakes, loads and gravity plots. So this is the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I'll find time to answer you. See you next time.